Dr. Abdul Qadir Khan was born in Bhopal in 1936. In 1947, Qaeda Azam Muhammad Ali Jinnah created the new state of Pakistan. Like all good Muslims who did not want to live as equals with the dirty kafirs of India, Dr. Khan migrated to Pakistan in 1952. At Karachi University, he received a good Pakistani education in all the relevant subjects, including advanced technology. Even in these early days, he showed a talent for acquiring images illicitly. Thus, he earned the lifelong nickname Photo Chor. Are mere bhaiyan de picture kahan gayi hai? <laughs> Abdul Qadir Khan graduated from Karachi as an engineer before going on to Belgium for further studies. After this, he went to work for a subsidiary of Urenco, an uranium enrichment plant in the Netherlands. At Urenco, he lived up to his nickname of Photo Chor by stealing and xeroxing designs for uranium centrifuges. It was here that he met his wife, Henny, a South African citizen. She also contributed to his pilfering the designs, which he later claimed to be original. In 1974, the dirty kafirs of India exploded a nuclear bomb. Even before this, Prime Minister Bhutto had declared that Pakistan must build a nuclear weapon. What do you say? Our people will eat grass, but we will build the bomb. In 1976, Photoshop Khan returned with his stolen designs to found KRL Laboratories. His plan was to refine uranium with stolen centrifuge technology, building nuclear bombs that employed highly enriched uranium for fission. For his masterful plagiarism, he was recognized as the greatest scientific mind of Pakistan. In 1987, after the people of Pakistan had eaten grass for 11 years, he declared that Pakistan was capable of dropping atomic bombs on India within minutes. Pakistan's nuclear capability assured that the jihad against the dirty kafirs of India could continue unpunished. Photochor Khan was a good Muslim and his scientists also supplied nuclear technology to Al-Qaeda before and after the September 11th attacks. Not satisfied with being an Islamic hero, Potachor Khan decided to make a fast buck by exporting his nuclear weapons technology to other nations like Libya, Iran and North Korea. In this noble endeavor, he had the full backing of the Pakistan army, including General Mirza Aslam Beg and later General Musharraf. In 1998, the dirty kafirs of India tested a round of nuclear weapons at Pokhran. Pakistan had to test some of Dr. Khan's bombs to assuage their honor and dignity. <laughs> However, to everyone's horror, Photochor Khan's weapons did not work. It became necessary to order some Chinese. Hello, you want a nuclear bomb? Okay, and you want the pork fried rice or the plain white rice with that? Here you go sir, have a nice day! Potochor Khan's designs were based on using highly enriched uranium as fissile material for nuclear bombs. However, Chinese bombs use plutonium instead. Pakistan had to use Chinese bombs for its Chagai test of 1998 instead of their own duds. This was confirmed by U-2 flights over the test site, which picked up traces of plutonium instead of highly enriched uranium. Potochor's problems multiplied thereafter. The Iranians, Libyans and North Koreans realized that the stolen technology he had sold to them did not work. They complained publicly to the great embarrassment of Pakistan. Dr. Khan was punished for his nuclear proliferation by President Musharraf of Pakistan. He was made to go on television and apologize to the people. I am sorry. However, Pakistan's honor and dignity have been kept intact by denying the Americans access to Dr. Khan. They will never be able to question this national hero or learn what he sold to whom. As for the tons of weapons components and nuclear material supplied by the Chinese over the past decades, the Pakistan government has transferred these to international jihad groups like Lashkar-e-Taiba.
they are currently being assembled by terrorists in a city near you.